My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with another review for Hulk and the Agents of Smash. This is episode three, and it's titled Hulk Fested. Um, in this episode, they are fighting Blastar, and after their fight, they are having to team up with Iron Man when the, the leader, he hijacks Iron Man's Hulkbuster armors to pretty much destroy Hulk and his team. And of course, they are going to get upset because he built Hulkbusters to be able to destroy each one of them. But at the end of the episode, uh, Hulk tells Iron Man to keep one, just in case. So that proves that you know Hulk understands a little bit why there should be something to uh, combat against him in case he ever loses control. And that's pretty much it of the episode. Uh, this also introduces the Hulkbusters, which everyone knows the Hulkbusters. And Blastar, which made his first appearance in Fantastic Four, issue 62, back in May of 1967. A thing I think it's kind of weird, he is a Fantastic Four enemy. I mean, I just think it's weird. These past two weeks, it's been Fantastic Four enemies. Nothing against them. I just, this is a Hulk show. like to see more Hulk enemies. I mean, Annihilus, Fantastic Four, Blastar, Fantastic Four. But uh, the thing I really enjoyed about this episode is seeing the Hulkbusters in this episode uh, because... Uh, Ever since the Incredible Hulk animated series, I've always liked the Hulkbuster armor. Because it's all a beefed up version of the Iron Man armor. And I think it was kind of cool seeing all the different ones. Like there's one for Scar, one for She-Hulk, one for Red Hulk, one for A-Bomb. And of course, the regular one to go against Hulk. And seeing them actually all combine into one huge Hulkbuster. I thought that was pretty cool too. And um, <clears throat> I think it was kind of neat to see uh, Iron Man team up with them. I mean, I pretty much knew Iron Man was going to make an appearance in the show because when they were announcing the voice cast, they, were, they showed, oh, so and so is going to be voicing Tony Stark slash Iron Man. So I pretty much knew that this would happen. But, uh, you know, again, I know I've said this last week, I could get more enjoyment out of this show if they could take out the reality TV stuff. I mean, I just don't like it in a show like this. You know, I know some of you that uh, are even on this show, you know, are saying, I hate that they uh, canceled Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I... I'm not against you at all on that. I mean, we had Earth Spice Heroes, Spectacular Spider-Man, Wolverine and the X-Men. They all got canceled. I mean, two of those actually canceled on cliffhangers, which I think is weird. Earth Spice Heroes is because, oh, they want a Avengers cartoon in the world of Ultimate Spider-Man. I don't watch Ultimate Spider-Man. So why would I super care about it? And Spectacular Spider-Man, there were plans on what to do in Season 3, and yet they uh, didn't do a Season 3. And I have not watched all of Wolverine the X-Men, but I know it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. You know, it, it's just, I think it's just weird. It's just weird. But, uh, like I said, all in all, it was an enjoyable episode. Could have liked it more without that reality stuff. Uh, but uh, I want to let you know, uh, I might, I'm not 100% sure on this, I might do a review for Venus and Ferb, Mission Marvel, when they premiere on Disney XD. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a person who normally watches that show. Only like every once in a while when uh, 
I'm watching my niece and nephew. And also, uh, a couple of days ago, I did a review for Kick-Ass 2. So, uh, it'll be in one of the annotations, so you can check it out, if not one of these corners. And uh, also, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode. What Hulk characters would you like to see in the future of this show? No matter if it's an ally or a villain. And I think with the leader appearing in the show already, I think it's pretty much we're going to see Abomination at some point. But like I said, let me know what characters would you like to see in the show that are Hulk related. And, uh, that's it for my review. For more news and reviews on movies, video games, comic books, and more, you can go to bkbn.net and celebrate your narrative in a big way. I'm Jimmy. Until next time, bye.